This is the most hated Super Mario Bros. game ever released, and today I am going to walk you through my adventure of beating it. When things started off, it actually wasn't all so bad. I was making great progress and even having a lot of fun with the game, but little did I know that things would turn for the worst. And it's all because of the evil springs! For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, in the lost levels there are these big red springs that Mario is supposed to bounce on to get over big gaps or to get up to a higher area. Simple enough, right? WRONG! The springs in this game refuse to function a majority of the time and it just leads to death after death after death. Not only do the springs refuse to function, but so do enemy bounces. Sometimes you go flying up into the ceiling, and other times it's like Mario has rocks in his shoes and can't bounce at all. Come on, Nintendo, what's up with that? I honestly do think Mario has rocks in his shoes in this game, because when you stand on the falling platforms, they don't hold back. Alright, enough ranting. Where does this tie into the story? Well, you see, this brings us to 4-3, or as I like to call it, pure pain. 4-3 has all the awful aspects of this game that I just mentioned, all crammed into a single level. This resulted in me dying way more times than I would like to admit, but eventually I learned how to more consistently beat the level, and it wasn't that bad. The stupid springs still suck though! You know what doesn't suck? Hitting the like button! Cut! After I was able to more consistently get past 4-3, things went pretty good again, until I got to World 8! This was where more pain began. World 8 really loves pain and is crammed with awful things. There are springs, wind, blind jumps, invisible blocks, random enemies, hammer bros, and so much more. It truly is the ultimate test of sanity. Now I could sit here for a long time and continue complaining about how brutal World 8 is, but that would be boring. The point is World 8 sucks. The levels are hard, jank, and frustrating. I ended up raging so many times during it that I could probably make a 20 minute rage compilation out of the moments and still have footage to spare. ARE YOU KIDDING ME MARIO? ARE YOU KIDDING ME? I'm literally going to scream. I chose this pain. I am ready to scream! I got destroyed so badly, in fact, that I ended up cheating and using the save state and the rollback feature in the Switch Online version of the game to beat it. Wow, look, this end part's so hard! Wow, I beat the game! You might think that this is where the story ends, but that is not the case. That completion was not good enough for me. I am a gamer. I don't give up. I had to do another stream of the game and get a real completion. So what did I do? That exact thing. I booted up the game a few days later and was ready to redeem myself. And after about 45 minutes of suffering, I did that exact thing. And now I have a power up, so screw you, Bowser! I almost died there. I did it though. <laughs> Ugh, holy crap. That was a good run. I, I beat the game. And that is how I beat the most hated Mario game ever. If you enjoyed this video, you need to check out the video on screen right now where I determine if Super Mario Bros. still holds up till this day.